said, well, afternoon. I know that I said I wasn't doing any more gardening, but I just ended up getting pulled to do the final kind of placement and stuff. And I want, really want to be a part of that. So, so, it's time to start working towards getting this roof on. Now, there's only like three weeks. I'm relatively unrealistically optimistic that I can get a good way through it at least. So, today I'm going to cut the beams, the joists which go from C section to I beam and fit in. All of them have got to be profiled as you've seen before. And well, let's see how far I'll go with that. Then tomorrow I get all my new drill bits arrive. I can drill the pins and set them in. So, look, have faith. And the GoPro was never seen again. <laughs> you see it flying down the valley. Constant live feed from the top of a tree. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, as you know, I'm trying to streamline the whole process every single time. And here's my idea that I've had. So, because between the two beams is not exactly the same size, just because the walls are old and they're not, you know, to the centimetre perfect, what I was doing is getting each beam, bringing it on here, cutting it to the right size, then profiling it, and that kind of lengthened the whole process. So, here's what I've done, and this may be a bit tedious for some people. 
I've measured each side of the opening, so the beginning and the end. I'm going to line all the 15 beams up. I'm going to mark them two and then cut them all while they're tied together. Well, you see, but I think that'll work out quicker and hopefully they all slot into place as well. So, just about getting quicker every time. If this works, this is some serious speedy floor putting in situation. Okay, the winch running out of battery signifies probably the end of the night. So, I have cut all the beams, they're all profiled. It is definitely quicker, but it took me a little while to kind of work out how to do it, and I haven't got a big enough saw, so, well, anyway, it's done. They're all cut for the last section of floor. That's more materials to do the roof. That's going to be the sark in the cladding on the outside of the roof, which is good. We're starting to get everything together. I'm just going to do the noggins and we're all going to get, get together and winch everything up to the floor it needs to go up to.
Alright. Uh, just gently start taking up on see how it goes off. Ignore what I said earlier, I've just realised I haven't got enough paint to paint the steel beam before I put all the wood in, which really needs to be done. Um, so I'll get Nick to pick up that in the morning when he's on the way to me. So tomorrow, paint the beam first thing, get all the wood in, get the holes drilled, get it pinned and resined into the wall. And then, hopefully that leaves me one more day with Nick and Cameron to get any materials up for the roof that I need. And, you know, hopefully nothing hinders that. <sighs> it's exciting that it's finally happening kind of within the next week, you know, starting it. It feels like I've been saying for so long, yeah, the roof will be soon, the roof's coming, just got to do this roof. But to actually start a section... It's a bit, it's a bit scary, to be honest, but it's super exciting, obviously. Hope you're enjoying the live videos. We're kind of doing a live every day for a few weeks, maybe, you know, see how it goes. They're going down pretty well. Um, yeah, it's not instead of a video, it's just like as well as a little December perk to kind of nip in and see what's happening throughout the day. Anyway, I will see you all after you've subscribed and turned on your notifications so you get the notifications for the lives tomorrow.